Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Livestock Right. Another video for you. It is the Power Base 500DX from Be Quiet the Unboxer. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. I will be doing a worth it video on this as well as a build. So continue to watch. Right, let's get into it. Right, this is the unboxing of this of the Power Base 500DX. From be quiet so got sent this to do a case review but it's not gonna be a review it's gonna be a worth it series as that's a very popular uh, aspect on my channel because I'm not exactly the normal person to do reviews so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it out of the box and then I will show you what it's like so continue to watch <laughs> My word, wow, that was so satisfying. So, no, we'll, uh, what we'll do is we'll start with the IO, okay? So, right here, right there. So, IO, we have got USB, USB 3.1 Type C, then we've got a USB 3 header, got uh, audio and microphone. We've got also got an LED button as well as a reset, uh, a power button. We've got an RGB ring, uh, RGB light at the front. Very large dust filter. Right, so let's take this side panel off and have a look. Is it? Something I will say, it's a very nice looking case. Very nice. So I'll take the side panel off because uh, we will do the peel. Your nice little peel. Make sure this thing doesn't fall off now. Okay. Oh, wow. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Very nice. Very nice type of side glass panel. Right, let's have a look inside then, is it? Right. Um, okay, so we've got a 140mm. Uh, pill wing 2 is it 140? Yes, 140mm by here, and we've also got a one a 120 in the back. They're all PWM, so the cables run by here. So I've got the side look there. That's the back panel by there. So it's got seven PCI slots. It's also got room for a vertical mount, looks like. I don't know actually. No, no, this is to uh, actually screw them in. Takes it off and screws it in. <coughs> We've got, ooh, captive thumb screws. That's a very nice thought. Oh, look, we've got uh, sound editing right by there on the back panel. Uh, we've got the uh, cable route in by here. We've got the fans by here. We've got the that's for the uh, RGB in the front. So uh, let's have a look. As far as I can tell, it holds two two and a half inch drives here. So that's SSDs. Looks like you could fit another one by there and another one by there. Uh, we've got the Cut out by here for the uh, for the cable management, which as you can see from the bottom by here, the cut out for the power supply is very large. It's quite um, quite large. We've got an accessory pack by here. 
we'll have a look at that in a minute we've also got cables down here for oh, there's the three pin ARGB header but there then we've got the we've got them all about here so we've got the type C we've got the USB 3 then we've got the front head panels which oh that's quite nice actually right so there's no um there's no horrible uh, like loads of uh, power buttons and all that stuff because it just comes with a LED and a power switch that's all it comes with Let's have a look inside here not not a lot in here actually well there is stuff in here so right so you get motherboard screws and uh, fan screws as well as five cable ties it's better than nothing that's all i say better than nothing so right that's the accessory box done yep good yes right then so let's have a look see ends it because i am positive this holds up to atx i am sure it does atx motherboards let's have a look right then so it holds atx matx and mini itx it's classed as middle mid tower which is very small um dimensions uh 510 times 285 times 501 it's got a steel weight is uh 7.83 kilograms p size lot seven optimal fans uh it can hold three 120s at the front and it can hold up to two 140s at the top and it can hold one either or oh, one 140 at the back as well it holds 120 and 140 uh cooler dimensions it can hold up to a 190 millimeter cooling fan right so we got that that's that uh it's also got this little bracket here with thumb with uh captive thumb screws for the power supply so you haven't got to put it inside like you have with that see what you do is you attach this to your power supply then you screw it in then you just slide it in like that and done i would like to think uh thank be quiet for sending this case over uh, I requested this case with the thermal paste, which I've already done a previous video on, but obviously it, the thermal paste came in early, but right, that's the front panel below. That's the front panel. I like the perforated, but sure the perforation. Let's have a look to use it. Okay. Okay, that's a look. Right, so right, there's the dust filter below. There's the RGB. Oh, look at that. So that's the RGB below, the dust contact pins. That's not that's actually quite nice. Very nice front panel. Large dust filter. Very large. So ooh, and it's that's, ooh, that's very nice it is. So as I said, you can either have two 140s at the front or three 120s. But I personally, I'd put three 120s. Uh, you've also got a drive cage right here as well. It's a drive cage right here, right here, so you can hold up to two uh, three and a quarter, uh, three and a quarter uh, hard drives. As also, it supports two and a half inch SSDs. So I've got some noise noise dampening on it as well, so it stops the vibrations. I'm assuming this goes on a rail. Yes. Ah, there we go. Done. So I like the little pinouts by you. That's quite handy because it saves you a lot. You won't got to stress about uh, the connections on the front, so that just less cable clutter mainly. So let's have a look. Okay, so. 
Oops. Right, now look inside this. Little shroud by Shear with a Be Quiet brand in. Uh, very, very nice case. It has rubber feet. Uh, it has a big, huge dust filter on top, which is magnetic, which is a very big one. The magnetic with the Be Quiet is very nice. It holds two. Oh, sorry, there's a 140 by Shear. So it, it, so it holds two 140s, so you could fit a 280 at the front, uh, on the top. And I'm assuming if you take out the R drive base, you could fit a three one twenty uh, millimeter ra uh, radiator. There is a there's enough space there if you take out the R drive cage. There is enough for big thick radiators. Right then. Well, I, I'm that's uh, pretty much it now. As uh, that's basically it really for the case. So what I'm going to do now is you'll have it. I will do a be I'll be doing a video on this now where I'll be doing a build on it, uh, installing some parts, seeing what the airflow is like uh, compared to the 500D airflow from Corsa, which as you can see by here, the size difference is absolutely. I mean, the 500D, the 5000D looks humongous compared to this. It does. It looks huge. I believe it's actually. All right, it's the same thickness, but it's just taller and a lot wide and a lot l longer. Right, so let's get to that beautiful peel, shall we? My word, wow, that was so satisfying. So yeah, right, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will be doing a full on review of, uh, full on, is it worth it on this case? Uh, that should be coming out Saturday and I've got a load more of things coming out where I'm getting parts from other places to do more videos for you guys. So, don't forget to subscribe. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.